Hi, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the Super General Washing Machine Error Code E64. But first, what does this error code mean? The error code E64 on the Super General Washing Machine means that there might be a problem with the heating element. This occurs when there is not enough current coming through the heating element. The following are some of the common causes of this error code. A failed heating element. After prolonged use, the heating element can develop faults, such as an open circuit or low electrical insulation. This renders the heating element insufficient in its operations, hence the E64 error. A faulty NTC. The NTC is tasked with relaying the temperature information back to the control board. This allows the control board to regulate the heat during a spin cycle. When the system is flawed, the machine will give the E64 error as a warning. Faulty electrical wiring. When there's a break in the electrical wiring, current won't be relayed to the heating element. When the machine detects a fault with a heating element, the E64 error code will be displayed. A failed control board. A failed control board translates to the heating element not receiving the heating command. It's good to narrow down the faults leading to the control board to eliminate all the possible issues that could cause the board to fail. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the error. Ensure the heating element is working properly. The heating element can be tested as follows. Disconnect the machine from the power source, unscrew the drum to get to the heating element, and disconnect the heating element from its terminals. Get a multimeter to set a low resistance setting, place the multimeter probes on the terminals of the heating element, and test the continuity through the element. If there is no continuity, it's advisable to replace the heating element. Ensure the NTC is communicating properly with a control module. This can be done by setting your multimeter to the ohmmeter setting. The resistance value should be equal to the ambient temperature reading surrounding the thermistor. Ensure the wiring has good continuity. This can be aided by the presence of a multimeter. Physical inspection can be employed to see any presence of burn and scorch marks on the wires. If there is any sign of wear on the wires, you should replace the wiring harness. Ensure the control board is working correctly. It's good to test for continuity within the board using a multimeter. If there is no continuity, then it means the board will need a replacement. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.